Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am so excited to be doing a review and demo for you guys of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. I knew right away when I saw this palette online that I needed it. Like there was no doubts in my mind. So I ordered it as soon as it became available. And I have done my research. I have played with every single shade. Um, and I hope to give you guys a very thorough review so you can decide if this is something that you need or not. Um, and then I also have a demo at the end with this eye look. All right, so the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette is $45. It comes with 14 new shades, four metallics, two duochromes, eight mattes, three of those mattes being pressed pigments. So this is your box right here. I think it is so pretty with the blue and the white and Riviera in gold. It does raise up so you can fill it across the top. On the back, you'll have all your information about the palette, the warnings, um, the ingredients, what the palette looks like, the shelf life, um, and then keeping up with the box, the packaging. Oh, it, gosh, I love it. It looks just like the box. Now, it is a different kind of material. It is not that velvety material that we are so used to. Um, it is a little bit more rough, which I mean, I, I don't mind. Um, but it has a blue, white, and the gold, which I think is so stunning. On the inside, of course, you get your mirror, you get a brush, and then these are your shades right here. Um, I love that she kept the inside a blue color, and it is kind of like, I don't know, it's reflective blue, which I think is really, really interesting. I just love the way that it makes the palette look on the inside. It, it just, it's so pretty. Your duo chromes is going to be Yacht, which is this one right here and Seaside, which is this shade right here. So those are your two duochromes. These are your mattes, starting with this white and working your way down. The pressed pigments are Bahamas, Cane, and Palm. Those are your pressed pigments. Now, um, it does have a warning on the back of the box, and it does say, Bahama, Palm, and Canes are not intended for use around the immediate eye area. Basically, it's just giving you that warning because pressed pigments can stain the eye. Um, however, I don't usually have much of a problem. Now, I was testing out Bahamas, as you can see right here. Um, and it did stain my eye just a little bit. It took some extra work to get it off, but it did come off. Um, I didn't have any trouble going into the next day. And as a matter of fact, in my eye look today, I am using the Bahamas and the Canes um, eyeshadow colors on my eye look. So I don't experience any personal problems. It is just a preference. They have to give you that warning because it is a pressed pigment. This palette is made in the USA. It is also cruelty free and it has a shelf life of 18 months. Now you can find this palette is already in stores at Ulta. You can buy it on Anastasia Beverly Hills website. Um, they do have a discount right now for shipping. They have a two day shipping for $6, which is how I got mine so fast. And I was so excited for that. This is also online at Sephora and Beautylish. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do swatches. Now, um, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I have posted swatches in the broad daylight. They are one swipe swatches and they were absolutely stunning. I am going to do live swatches for you guys. I know some people actually do enjoy that, so I will be doing that for them. Now, my daughter has a medium skin tone, so she was so excited because when I would do reviews, I do like to throw in different skin tones if I can. Um, like I said, my daughter is a medium skin tone. I'm light skin tone. Um, my husband would be a deep skin tone. But unfortunately, he wasn't available for swatches. So this right here, this is for medium skin tones. This is what the eyeshadows look like if you are a medium skin tone. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on swatches, and then I will get straight into my thoughts.
here are your swatches. They are so beautiful. These colors are just so beautiful. Um, now, so I don't get this all over myself. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so on my eyes today, I do have Sales, Estate, Monte Carlo, Bahamas, Canes, Mediterranean, and seashells those are all the shades that i have on my eyes this palette does come with a brush i honestly do not like those brushes number one i think they're really rough number two they shed like nobody's business so i usually end up giving those brushes away um i, I really want nothing to do with those brushes i wish they would change them up just a little bit um now into the shades the very first time i dug into this palette i used my sigma eyeshadow base primer and i used bahama and canes the pink and the purple and for whatever reason i could not get those to blend together it was just awful i think for some reason my ju it just wasn't working with my sigma primer so tonight i did go in with my tried and true urban decay primer potion this is what i usually use when i do my reviews and everything blended really really nicely once i used that i think the shades in here are absolutely stunning i will say that the metallics are pretty chunky especially with a swatch um however going on the eyes i did not have a problem so it's more so chunky in the pan chunky on my finger but perfect for my eyelids um i did experience a little bit of fallout nothing too crazy so i do suggest um, if you are using the metallic shades to at least do your eyes first and then go in with foundation because when I put Mediterranean in the middle of my eye I did experience the fallout now going into the mattes some of them actually feel really rough really dry when it comes to swatching them um, there is a couple in here like sales and estate these two right here they do feel soft um, but of course the pigments they feel rough but they perform really really well however when it comes down to it i was able to blend out all the shades um i really didn't have any problem uh once i switched to my primer potion blending anything everything worked really beautifully now this shade right here is a little bit of a disappointment i wish it was more yellow it's kind of like this mustardy color and i just want it to be a little bit more vibrant i will say the first couple looks that i did with this palette um now i am not an mua by any means i am just a makeup enthusiast um i do my best to put together looks for you guys something that i think everybody can enjoy something that is not too hard to do um when i first was doing my couple looks I hated everything that I put on my eyes and it wasn't the shades um, it wasn't how they performed it was just the way that I was putting colors together it was terrible um, you know me being a little bit more of a novice when it comes to uh, especially color um, I had a little bit of time trying to sit here and create a look um, that was frustrating for me. But when I created this eye look, I had no problem. I had my music going and it kind of came together um, quite nicely. Let's get down to it. Do you need this palette? Let's start with by saying, I enjoy this palette. I love this palette. I love Anastasia palettes and this did not disappoint. I think you are not going to regret it if you purchase this. If this is something that you have your eyes on and you love color, this is definitely going to be for you. And I think you should go ahead and bite the bullet and get it. If you are definitely more of a neutrals kind of person and you want nothing to do with color, I don't suggest this palette. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. Like I said, I love this palette. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the look that I created tonight, which right after this announcement, you guys will see. So I pretty much knew right away that I was going to love this palette. Um, even with the little bit of trouble I had in the beginning, I still ended up falling in love with the palette. So I did end up getting two palettes. <laughs> One is obviously a giveaway for you guys. 
I just really love giving back to all my subscribers and I just I thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart um, you know I I get so excited when I get to film because I know that I have you guys and it just it really warms my heart um, so this is just a little thank you now this giveaway is going to run just a little bit differently than last time because I did run into some complications so you will have to go through the website uh, to enter which is down below so make sure you enter that it gives me your email address I will be contacting the winner through the email address first and then after they respond I will be announcing the winner so let's talk about rules okay so the number one rule is you guys must be subscribed to my channel if you are under 18 please make sure you have parents permission like this video and leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite color is now this giveaway will run for two weeks so it starts today and ends march 30th at 11:59 eastern standard time i will contact a winner on march 31st and they have until April 2nd to reply back or I will have to pick a new winner. So good luck to everybody and with that being said if you guys want to go ahead and move on to the demo part of this video then that's going to start right now.
that is it for the review and tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. <laughs> this is a really good palette and I just, I enjoy it so much. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.